Assalamu alaikum everyone and today we are going to talk about another IUPAC nomenclature video but today we're going to talk about cyclo cyclic molecules so let's begin after some molecules that we've covered you realize that all of them are like have a line like a linear molecule but there aren't always linear molecules you have to deal with sometimes there are things called cyclic molecules so here here we have a few fun shapes and it'll have the prefix cyclo and it will have its corresponding <laughs> name like in cycloalkanes there this will be cyclopropane cyclobutane cyclopentane cyclohexane basic stuff really now let's go straight to the examples of some cyclic molecules such as this one now since it doesn't have a double substituent we can just write it methyl cyclo hexane because there are six carbon molecules and it also has a methyl so we so we write it together now we have another molecule so here the numbering system you won't get a numbering system from left to right or right to left here there are actually 12 possible ways that you can number this because you can pick one of the six carbons to begin with but we need to number it when the numbers get the lowest set of locus that me that means suppose a number set if there will be different number sets from each possibilities so the numbers that are the smallest numbers of locus will be the one that we will use like if we start from here and then go all the way like this here we get the lowest set of locants possible which is one two and four these are sets if you see my math videos you can understand this but you don't need to focus too much about maths in organic chemistry but if we did it the opposite way like if one was he here and we started like this then one will be a locant two three and four so it would have been one three and four which is bigger because of the middle three and so on and so forth Now here are more examples, we basically do the same thing. Now 
then we write the name like four bromo methyl cyclo hexene and this one since the hydroxyl takes priority because there are actually multiple ways to make the lowest set of locants. Like we can start all the way from here and one, three, one, three. It will be the same. But since the hydroxyl takes the priority, we're gonna number from here. And we're gonna go clockwise now we're going to na name this 3 ethyl because E for ethyl cyclo pentanol So that's all that is going to do for today's video. If you want more organic chemistry videos, remember to subscribe and you know, leave a like and comment down below if you know you want to know more and you have any questions or is my video helpful or anything you can ask in the comment section below. And thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.